Hi guys, welcome back and uh, now uh, I'm going to actually uh, help a uh, 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 few of my students uh, who actually asked me uh, uh, through Facebook and also a couple of you have emailed me that uh, they have seen somewhere that when they click on some button, you know, the button gets changed and uh, accordingly, uh, you know, people use them for the dashboards. What we are going to do in this video is if you look at this, this is a safe button I have created. You can see here, right? And uh, look at the special effect we have given it. This is not a normal button I'm just going to tell you about that but look at this what I'm going to tell you if I click on this save you see that the moment I click on this save button this actually changes to the edit button and as at the same time you know the color of this also changes to blue and if I click back on the edit the you know the different button comes now these are the sort of things which you can use in the dashboards for example I'll just uh, quickly tell you I was preparing some you know a dashboard for one of my clients uh, where we were talking about the transport uh, transport details so here here what I, uh, I I did is that I wanted to uh, tell the user that if you ever want to edit any of these records, you know, you first click on the edit, and then you know these are the colors, the yeah, uh, red colors will come because this this tells you that you are in the edit mode, and then you can go and edit the time. You write whatever you want, and after writing it, you know, you uh, again go and click on this save. So edit is going to be changed to save, and once you click on the save, the detail is going to be saved in the back end, and you are back on the edit mode. Okay, so this is uh, what I mean. I'm, I'm just trying to give you the idea that how you can go and use these things in the dashboard. Okay, it's pretty easy. So let us go and quickly start this now. Uh, so the first thing which you need to do is go in the insert and from here we can go and choose these shapes, different different shapes. Uh, the sh you can choose whatever shape you want. For example, I go and uh, choose this, you know, the rectangle shape. Okay, now when you draw this picture like this, uh, it always has a name and that you can see here rectangle three make sure you select this if you don't select this then you find the format option is not there okay so if you do not see the format option that means this is not selected so to select this just click on this and now you find this drawing tool option available and then in this you know in the name box where you generally see the cell address you find here the name of that uh, the shape now you can keep this rect uh, rectangle 3 as well but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a, some good name so I uh, prefer giving uh, uh, it a name called let's say uh, shape and then I go and uh, give it a name called let's say uh, editing for example okay or I just give it a name called edit for example this name okay so you can I mean give whatever the name you want to give okay and uh, now uh, the thing is uh, because I have already given this uh, edit button the name I go and give this a name called editing for example editing okay shape underscore editing do not leave the space you will not be allowed to you know leave the space here so press enter you must press enter and must come back here and check that if the name is uh, what you have mentioned here is actually uh, you know uh, recorded by this excel is accepted by the excel or not so once you click back and you see the name is there that is good now uh, I go and uh, copy this control C and I paste this because I want to create the buttons of same size so I will not go back in the insert and create a new shape I simply go and control C and control V okay now here I'm going to change this uh, maybe I can go and give it a different color let's say I go and uh, choose this sort of color okay the green and now once I have, I'm done with that again uh, what you need to do is uh, then you need to go here select this because this was created from this so that's why you see here the shape underscore editing we are going to change it and I'm going to give it a name called uh, let's say saving okay I go and press enter once I pressed enter I know the names are saved but I will again go and recheck I click on this I see here the name is coming good I click on this and I see the name coming here shape underscore editing and shape underscore saving now what we are supposed to do in this case is that uh, obviously you have to go and uh, write the name uh, I mean this uh, button is for what so you go and write here let's say edit okay and here uh, this is my save so I can write here the save okay uh, you can always go and put them in the center uh, the way you want okay I'll not get into that so you can customize this button the way you want okay and uh, one more thing we can do we can make these uh, you know some we can give some special effects 
select this and go to the format and in the shape effects you can go and use any of these shapes you know so i go and use this one right i personally like this option i click on this and again i go in the shape effects and i say that from here i want uh, uh, from here this b well uh, level um, i'm going to give it a name so you can choose all these different different buttons you can see right the moment i hover here i select this the you know what shape you uh, will uh, uh, the Excel will give you uh, once you go and click on this that you see on the screen. Okay, so this is this is uh, this immediately changes. So I prefer the same shape. I go and click on this angel. You can see that they have given the names as well. Okay, so I click on this and finally I have created these two buttons. Okay, now now we will go and create the. Uh, the macros i'm going to tell you what we are supposed to do now when the user clicks on this edit button what should happen edit button should go invisible and the save becomes visible and when i click on the save the reverse happens the save becomes invisible and the edit becomes visible and giving you this sort of effect as in actually the same button is reprogrammed but it is not the case okay so this is what we are going to do uh, so i have already created here two macros i'm going to show it right away you can see here this is what you do i created here two uh, different different macros guys one is the edit macro and the second is the save macro now these are all the you know which you the buttons have created they all are a part of the shapes collection so you go and write active sheet dot shapes the name of that within the double quotes um, this is my editing basically now i'm saying that when the edit button gets clicked what should happen the edit button dot visible should be false which means that is not going to be visible and at the same time the saving button should be visible and same way when i click on the save button the save button should be visible uh, should not be visible and the another one the editing should be visible so this is what we have written here okay now only thing which you need to do is you go and right click on this because we have to assign these macros click on the assign macro right so this is something uh, which is uh, I, I hope everybody is familiar with this just to how to assign the macros to the buttons so i'm not going to waste the time here so i go and give this a macro edit you know the name and i assign the on the other side here the save macro that's it how it is you know this is how it is going to be done now to show you what is happening in the background i put the break code for example when i click on this edit see what is going to happen when i click on this the edit files this macro and now we say that editing is not going to be visible it is going to be false so the edit button goes off right now this is not deleted remember this will come back you are not deleting it you're just making it invisible and at the same time the shape saving will Will remain as visible and you can see here it is visible okay same thing happens when i click on the save button uh if i click on the save you see what is going to happen my editing is going to come back because i said visible equals to true and you can see and the shape saving is going to be invisible now look at this right so this is how you can design this entire thing and this is so simple now one thing if i click on this this goes to the save i mean this obviously shows the save and when i click on the save the edit comes but ideally they should overlap each other they should overwrite you know um, they should basically uh, give uh, gives you the feel that edit is changing to the save uh, we should not go and uh, show them in the different different positions so what you can do is you can both uh, wherever you want to put them like i put them in on this top so according to your dashboard according to your requirement you can put them in the same space so when i you know put this here and now i again click here you see the edit comes and now i can move this edit little bit over here because this is where i think i see the save so you can see here now this is this is how the buttons are playing their role so that's how the magic happens in the you know the dashboard so i have just told you one of the secrets you know we guys use in the excel dashboards using a vpn i hope you have enjoyed this session and i hope you will share this with more and more people and thank you so much for your love for your support i see that channel is actually growing now thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next video Bye bye